Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about the transit moon in Gemini. Now, this could be a period where communication can be a very strong emotional need. Now, the moon has made its transition from Taurus to Gemini. Taurus is more taciturn, more quiet, maybe even a little more reticent. And really, it was more about listening as opposed to actually talking. Now, you kind of have the opposite going on with the moon transiting Gemini. Well, this could even indicate garrulousness and people being very more, more talkative, more loquacious. And you might even have a lot of talking over others as well. And this is a time where it's interesting. It could be a period where you can actually really speak what you want, be able to articulate your ideas and your thoughts very well. But at the same time, I don't think you have the people being as far as listeners, not necessarily as strong as opposed to the moon in Taurus because you have those people wanting to communicate their ideas as well. So I guess what I'm saying is if you're in a group like discussion or conversation during this time, it could be in a way positive in terms of airing your views and and uh, points or what have you because you're apt to be able to express things in a very perspicacious, very lucid manner and articulate them very well. But as far as on the other end, as far as the listening aspect of it, that could be another story because you might have those people wanting to air what they want to say as well and not necessarily have the patience to be able to hear everything you have to say and be able to and want to process every single detail connected with what your statements are. So another thing is when the moon is transiting Gemini, I see this as versatility and variety being part of one's uh, emotional needs during this time. And this could be a period where you might not be satisfied with doing one thing at a time. It could be a time where even if you're, say you're working a job in a, you even something like a cashier in a fast food place, you might be on the phone with one hand and maybe waiting on the customer uh, with the other and basically giving that person change or what have you with the other hand. So I think it's very, it's it really, uh, this could impact people even if they have like say just regular day-to-day -day jobs because they could be expressing versatility and variety and kind of being all over the place. I, I, As many of you may know, my moon is in Gemini and there was a time when I worked as a store porter, which I mean, it sounds like basically kind of menial mundane work. That's fine and everything, but I was kind of going all over the place. I do a little bit of this, doing a little bit of that. So even if you have just a regular day to day job, you could be showing a lot of diversity and variety in it during the time that the moon transits Gemini. And this could also be a period where people might be a little bit more restless and antsy than usual. It might be harder to be stagnant as when the moon is in Taurus, it's a little bit more sedentary. And when you have the moon in Gemini, it's really, it's kind of making up for lost time, so to speak, because I think a lot of what happens is when the moon's in Taurus, people might be a little bit more stagnant. It might be tor moon and transiting Taurus can be uh, give a person maybe need to be industrious and hardworking, but at the same time, there's more relaxation for a lot of people, I believe, when that transit hits. But when the moon transits Gemini, well, you really have an energy where it might be hard to, to really uh, be in a state of lethargy or inertia because you just want to keep moving and there's really this strong need for mobility. And really, uh, as far as reactions go, they might be a lot quicker when the moon is in Gemini as opposed to the other signs. And it could be that someone says something and you might, even if you're someone on average, that really doesn't respond to even statements that are said to you that quickly. Your response time might be a lot more accelerated during this time when the moon is in Gemini. And also the thing to guard against in a way with this is that, well, when the moon transits Gemini, there could be a little bit more prevarication. And when I say this, not really in a real negative way, but what I mean is, is that I think when you have Gemini energy, a lot of times Gemini is the sign where they want to 
they'll say something to someone that, that might not be 100% true because they want to spare the person's feelings and they may want to say what the person wants to hear as opposed to what's actually voracious and fear of maybe hurting that person's feelings if they said the 100% truth. So that is something to look at as far as this transit goes. And it's also a period where you may want to assimilate a lot of information, but you want to try to, you're trying to do it very quickly. And you might not have the persistence to learn things very deeply during this transit, but you still want to learn nonetheless. And you want to learn about a lot of a plethora of subjects, perhaps during this transit. And this could be a time if you're working in a place where you're getting a lot of phone calls, they might increase during this time and you might be getting bombarded uh, with them uh, more so than usual during this transit because that is connected. The telephone, of course, is connected with communication and you might find yourself uh, on the internet more perhaps uh, sending messages to people on the computer doing more emails than usual during the moon in Gemini transit. Well, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the transit moon in Gemini and stay tuned next time where I'll be talking about the transit moon in Cancer. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.